Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6185 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 29 moves to clear out 140 jelly. And of course, we've got some problems here. We've got the rainbow twists. We've got crystal candies. They are over the bobbers, though. If we never get rid of those and never access the bobbers, that should be okay, because there can't be jelly under those bobbers. And I can't even see with these crystal candies what's under here. It's just too thick. Notice these are slightly cracked. These are more problematic. I do have some, some stripes on the board to help me. Let's try to bust through the rainbow as quickly as possible. I'm worried more, actually, about the big blockers than I am about the jelly underneath because I can't deal with that jelly until I clear these out. Also, I'm noticing portals. I hate when I can only see one portal area and not the other things that it's attached to. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's just saying that, guess what, it'll go from here to here. These might swoop around, or they may just have forgotten to put the portals in. We'll have to find out. All right, so because this is going to be tricky, I need to try to make the best use of my moves. I don't like this. It doesn't take out anything except jelly. It does make a space under the dispensers, but sometimes we only get them starting on the third turn and every three turns subsequent to that. So I'm going to ignore that. Now I have to look. I could take out the red, and that would take out two of these. Or I could take out the orange and it would hit three of these. And here's the reason I'm doing this, the orange. Not necessarily for that third one, but because if I take down the red, the orange match up here. But if I take down the orange, the red don't match. They drop into place and they match when they're down here. And so I'll hit this again. And I need that kind of cascading to help out. There we go. That's kind of beautiful. This now is one layer thick. If I get this one or this one, it'll snap the whole chain. Oh, and this slid down lower, which is actually more beneficial to me, in my opinion. I can see a blue here. Making a stripe looks like a good choice. I can't get a blue in here. There's bobbers in the way. So those bobbers are like cutouts. They, they prevent us from doing things. But let's just go ahead and take care of this. And again, since I'm on this left-hand side of the board, I'd like to stay over here because these are close to being snapped now, if I can manage it. No great moves. I'm going to try to bring a few things through here. There we go. Oh, yeah, I should really look at the entire board before I make my choices. Now, I don't have a lot of green, so I could try to bring more green into play here, by taking out other colors. Or I could just go with this. This would go horizontally, this would go vertically, this would go horizontally, this would go vertically. That would be nice. Horizontal, vertical. I'm willing to risk this. This is not spectacular. So I'm willing to risk it in order to try to get more stuff happening on this board. This would go vertically and snap this. So, ah, it went horizontally. I miscounted. I didn't count it out. Oh, thankfully the fish did not help at all. Shoot. <laughs> I thought they were going to, and then I realized they hadn't. Um, bad choice on my part. There we go. At least it didn't, you know, take too much out of our opportunities here. Now if I do this, and it looks like there's just candy under here. So if I do this, I make a wrapped candy, I set off this stripe which hits the bobber and hits this. Plus the wrapped candy hits the bobber. So I'll be sending out a lot of fish. I like that choice. I could also do a stripe stripe combo and that wouldn't be bad either. But then the wrapped candy is also going to shoot this off and I just like the chaos created here. Even though I have five colors on the board, I do have a, a fairly open board, and so I'm going to rely on these opportunities here. I've got a stripe. I think I'm going to go ahead and take out the orange. There we go, because I felt that the orange wasn't very prevalent, and so I wanted to get good things to happen. Ooh, if I make a stripe along here, I hit all five of the bobbers. 
That looks nice. I still have to get through these crystal candies. I'm really hoping the fish will help with that. I could do this. It would really clear this out, but then it would also send out three fish. It's not awful. It's not grand. I could make a stripe here and try to lower it. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to risk this to get more activity down here. Didn't send out as many fish. Didn't actually bring things down exactly where I wanted. But I was willing to risk it because it wasn't a huge opportunity. I like taking out jelly. If I take out the jelly, then the fish will be more attracted to the places where I haven't removed things. This is kind of awful. I'm just using it as a setup. Oh, I like that. There we go. Bring things down further. I don't like that. So what if I can bring this in alignment? We've seen now that the portals go from here to here, but these do not act on a portal. Things slide around. There, that's what I needed to do. And now if I take out all purple, it would hit here, and it would hit this over here, and it would take this out. I like purple at this point in time. And remember, color bombs but get color bombs and other specials. Even though I didn't use it with a special, it sets up better opportunities to make matches and specials. All right, well, I got that done on the first try. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.